Hi, welcome to this tutorial where what we're going to look at is extending quadratic equations. We're going to look at quadratic equations in some function of x. Now, here's an example where we've got to solve x to the power 4 plus 3x squared minus 4 equals 0. It doesn't look like a quadratic equation in some function of x until we make a substitution. And that substitution in this case is to say let y, you can use obviously any letter you like, but let y equal x squared. And can you see that x to the power 4 is really x squared all squared. So in other words, what we've got here is y squared plus, then we've got 3y instead of that 3x squared. So 3y and then the minus 4 equals 0. So clearly here we've got a quadratic equation in y, but y equals x squared, so we can say that this is a quadratic equation in x squared. So when it comes to solving this now, all I've got to do is either use the quadratic formula, or if it factorizes, factorize it. And this one factorizes, so we're just going to do that. Well, it comes out to y plus 4 and y minus 1. And that will equal 0. And in the usual way, each of those two factors would equal 0. So we've got y plus 4 equals 0, or we end up with y minus 1 equaling 0. So if I subtract 4 from both sides here, we've got y equals minus 4. And if I add 1 to both sides here, we end up with y equaling 1. But remember, we've got to solve this for x, so you don't just stop here. y was x squared, so that means that therefore we have x squared equals minus 4. Or we have x squared equals 1. Well, clearly, when x squared equals minus 4, to get x, we've got to square root the negative 4. Well, there's no real number that squares to give a negative number. So for this, we end up with no solutions. So just write that in there, no solutions for that part. But here, when x squared equals 1, we can square root 1, and we get plus or minus 1. Don't forget that plus or minus in there, OK? Plus or minus 1. Now, OK. We've made this substitution, y equals x squared, but you might have been able to spot that this factorizes straight away that it was a quadratic in x squared. So instead of writing this line, you might have gone from here straight down to x squared plus 4 and x squared minus 1 equals 0. That would lead to x squared plus 4 equals 0, or x squared equals one, minus 1 equals 0. And you'd have just come out with x squared is minus 4, or x squared equals 1. So with practice, as I say, you might be able to go from there straight to this line here. OK, well, that's an example. Let's go to another one. It's slightly harder. You might like to try this next example. OK, well, here we have another example then. Solve 3x to the power 2 thirds minus 5x to the power 3rd plus 2 equals 0. So hopefully you can see that this too is a quadratic equation. It's a quadratic equation in x to the power 3rd because x to the power 3rd, if you squared it, would give you x to the power 2 thirds. So, we have a quadratic equation in x to the power third. Let's just put down, though, let y equal x to the power a third. So that's going to give us now that 3y squared minus 5y plus 2 equals 0. So again, we could use the quadratic equation formula, or if it factorizes, factorize it. Well, it does factorize, and what you get is 3y minus 2 and y minus 1, and that will equal 0. So again, you'd put 3y minus 2 equals 0, or the y minus 1 
would equal zero. And that would lead to y equaling two thirds or y equaling one. But y is x to the power third, so we're going to have x to the power third equals two thirds or x to the power third equaling one. So to get x, what I need to do in something like this is to cube both sides. So therefore, if we cube x to the third, we get x. And if we cube two thirds, let's just write that in there, then we've got to cube the 2 and cube the 3. And that's going to give us 2 cubed, which is 8, and 3 cubed, which is 27. And for this one over here, or we just need to cube that x to the third, giving us x, and then cube the 1, and that's going to be 1 to the power 3, which is still 1. All right? And again, though, you might have gone straight from here straight down to recognizing that this was a quadratic in x to the power third and being able to factorize it. So you would have got 3x to the power third minus 2 or x to the power of third minus 1 equals 0 and then continued on to give you these particular results. Okay, well I hope that tutorial has given you some idea then of how we can solve quadratic equations which are in some function of x.